Hi, and welcome to Trunco Live, where we're socially distant but technically connected. I am Marcy Tyler, the Director of Building Science for Tremco, and I am one of your hosts. And I'm Paul Hugenboom. I'm the president of Tremco Construction Brad School Marcy, and I'm the other host. And uh, Tremco is a tremendous collection of brands, products, systems, most of all people all over the world. All over the world. Um, as always, we are excited to be up in front of you um, each and every Friday. Paul, episode number? 49, you told me. 49, I did just tell him. Yeah. So we're excited that we've had the longevity of being able to connect with all of you. And, and as always, we really do appreciate the feedback. Um, as we start to look at the additional months um, that are coming up, we have a variety of different themes and there's always opportunities for you to come on and tell your story. So always make sure you reach out. We've got a great schedule coming up for the rest of this month, into May, June, we're even looking into July, August. I've got ideas even in through September. We're, we're target rich. We are, we are. Um, so yeah, definitely interested in, in your feedback as always. And if there's um, a design challenge you want to talk about, a case study you want to go over, or you know something that's interesting in our industry that you want to share, this is definitely your ability to do that. Yeah, we always uh, welcome input, influence. We want, we want, we want to see. Exactly, exactly. We want this to be a nice, light, easy afternoon, and we really like that you wind down your your afternoons with us. So whether you're live or capturing capturing this on YouTube, you know, we really do appreciate your your interest. So Paul, April, springing into action with different time saving technologies is our theme this month. Yeah, so uh, I know I'm going to say it's my favorite. Very, <laughs> very tough. It's yeah. my favorite. Well, so we, yeah. and maybe the guest is your favorite too. So we'll, he is we'll, definitely, we'll he is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> I used to see him all the time. I know. No, who would have thunk we would have wanted to see more of this guest, but we do. We miss him. So um, as always, we've got some information um, that we want to share with you that kind of guides us through um, our topic. And this topic of this month is time saving technologies. So, you know, Paul, as we look to be innovative and look at different systems, we always look at that, the impact, you know, of time savings, because we want to look at that, but we never want to compromise performance. Yeah, and I think the other interesting thing around time too, it's it's being able, being able to actually work around the clock <laughs> during all inclement weather conditions, no matter how cold or wet. So it's just another one of the time concepts that we're very aware of. Absolutely. And and so, you know, as we look at that and we look at these different technologies, we're so fortunate to have so many different touch points around that entire building enclosure. So today we're gonna look at air barriers. And I circled connectivity and transitions because that's really what's important when we look at an air barrier system or any of the systems that we talk about. Um, when we talk about our products, it's not just about that membrane, that material, it's about how everything comes together. So just always wanna highlight that capability for sure. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, positive comments and compliments that were very, very system focused, Absolutely. not component focused. Absolutely, yep. And we, we want to know um, what your concerns are about how to make those connections. And we also want to be a part of, of being you know, it, involved with that team to look at ways that we can make those connections. So when we specifically look at that Secure XOR 430 system, we've done a lot of work before it even gets to the job site. You know, we've done all the cohesion and the compatibility testing. We've seen a lot of panelizers gravitate towards this system. And they always come back to us and tell us about how much time that they're saving. And it's great. Before we had all of that, Paul, before we had all this great feedback from um, industry colleagues, we did do some time studies. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. And, and if you look in, in, in this time study video that I'm gonna share, it's usually bright and beautiful out, right? So yeah. think of the time savings for the normal inclement or, or just other delays that we see. Yeah, we get a lot of great feedback where the time savings is many, many months in, in what would have happened under a traditional schedule. Um, and, and, it, and in many cases, it quote, saves the day, if you will, by Absolutely. allowing things to get, come in on time. Yeah, we had um, a, a enclosure consultant on back in February, and his name is Gene Keaton, and he talked to us about the time savings that he saw. So not only with the system, but being able to enclose that structure and being able to work on the inside was a huge advantage for for that that project. But then all the other ancillary things that come into play to add to that savings. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. His, his example was. He said basically you put it up and the next day you we can work inside and because you're not limited by weather you can absolutely plan and sequence your trays 
on a schedule and no longer be beholden to the weather. So it was interesting how he commented how you picked up even, it wasn't just the savings of XOR 430, it was everything you picked up by yeah. being able to control the trades on a schedule. Absolutely, yes, he definitely gave great great examples of that. So that was a previous episode back in February. So this is um, a, a time set study video that we're gonna share a part of it, just so you can see what we did um, way back in the beginning. The Secure Rock XOR 430 system sets the new standard combining USG's Secure Rock last mat sheathing and Tremco's ExoAir fluid applied air barrier membrane into a single step. The durable fluid membrane is pre-applied to the sheathing in a factory, guaranteeing a consistent 20 mil application. There's no waiting for it to cure on the job site and no guessing if the right amount of membrane is being applied. The Secure Rock ExoAir 430 system installs just like regular sheathing, so there's no learning curve. This full system offering is thoroughly tested to ensure that all accessory components are compatible, eliminating the need to conduct field tests, which saves you more time and money. In fact, the Secure Rock XOAir 430 system installs 40% faster than the traditional sheathing and fluid air barrier installation. And if you include dry time, it results in a 70% time savings. We proved this through a controlled time trial in which we built a structure with two identical sides in the field. An independent contractor with two crews of installers split up on either side of the structure. One installed the Secure Rock ExoAir 430 system, and the other installed traditional sheathing and a field fluid applied air barrier. The side using the Secure Rock ExoAir 430 system was completed one day before the fluid air barrier membrane. In addition, the direct connection of the sealant to the membrane provides true continuity and the visual verification that your air barrier will perform to your design expectations. This system delivers a flexible, non-brittle, high-performance membrane that will self-gasket around fasteners, giving your job less site rework and less waste. It even allows general contractors to work on the interior of a building as each floor's exterior air barrier installation is completed. The Secure Rock ExoAir 430 system speeds and simplifies the construction process, is cost-effective and delivers the predictable performance you require, even when bad weather strikes. Up to 70% faster, this system ensures you'll never again get off schedule due to air barrier application. So pretty interesting how they went through that. So Paul, once again, nice, simple structure, yep. no weather delays, and, and we did account for um, the sheathing being installed on both. So a full day of savings. So we, we after we did that one, they wanted to see how we would compare if we did um, a peel and stick. So we have this one um, comparing uh, a peel and stick as well. So lots of great information that we were able to capture, lots of great voice of customer during these trials. In this one, we did not include the installation of the sheathing. We wanted to just focus on that air barrier since sheathing was gonna be the same for both. Once again, we had that full time of uh, one full day. Now the square footage on this was small. It was only 1500 square feet, but what that comes out to be is that you can save for every 100 square feet, you can save one hour. So it's a significant amount of savings that you can achieve from that. Lots of great feedback, once again, that we achieved from being able to do this. Um, and we've got a, a lot of great information that we'll share with all of you as it relates to those time studies. But once again, this was you know back many years ago and you can see nice blue skies in the background. So it's really great when we get that feedback from you, our customers, on the time savings that you've had. Um, on your on your building so definitely want to hear from all of you let us know um, the tricks of the trade let us know how your actual projects worked we've got a couple um, project related teams scheduled here in the future um, so we're really excited about being able to get that voice of customer directly from them and there are other things but time aren't there Chris? there is there's a lot of other things beyond time and that was a key part of what we wanted to present to everybody today was to talk about yes we saved time but we in no way did we compromise performance and we focused a lot on that in order to achieve that high performing system so that you have the confidence in um, this application and this entire system so with that um we, um, like I said, have lots of different information that was able to go back and show you that exact time saving. So once again, one hour for every 100 square feet. And you can look at some of the math on that side panel there to really show that differentiation in just that time savings. 
once again, as we talk to different individuals, this is from um, the Gene Keaton Project. This is Arkansas Children's Hospital. Um, and this is where they saved three months on their schedule. And then Gene did a great way of explaining not only all of those other areas, but then he knew that he was going to get a high performing system with all the adhesion compatibility done ahead, ahead of time, the great fastener sealability um, testing and confidence in no matter what facade comes next. Yeah, and I, I think again, I know we've I said this a few minutes ago, but just being able to take weather out of the equation altogether yeah. is just a huge plus. Absolutely, definitely, it definitely helps with that. Um, and we love the fact that now um, we are able to provide even more for that project, right? So being able to include all of the, you know, drive it systems and specifically the drive it out solution um, with that full warranty from your stud all the way out. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I know we'll have any number of future sessions on panelization, but uh, yeah. yeah, I think XOAIR is only the beginning of the savings of, of time and the pickup and schedule. Absolutely, yeah. We're gonna definitely feature some panelizers on here. We're gonna talk a lot about prefabrication and have a variety of different guests as we look at our continuing weeks and months all about Trunk Alive. So, you know, Paul, I, you know, I like to share this information. There's so many great tools. There's so many great resources that relate to the Securic XOR 430 system. But it, wouldn't it be great if we could talk to somebody that was on the patent, one of the people on the patent? That would be, do we know anybody? We, I think we do know somebody. <laughs> we know somebody that we used to see all the time at the test wall. Dante, Mary Petrie, welcome to Trunk Alive. Good afternoon, everybody. I uh, hope you're having a great Friday afternoon here at 3 o'clock. And I think it's 42 degrees outside in Cleveland, Ohio at the moment. So uh, cold today. Hey, hey, Dante, it ain't snowing. All, <laughs> good, all is good in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> That's true when you put it in perspective, right? So how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm uh, just trying to get caught up on some of my office work today, and uh, I appreciate you guys having uh, me on the show today. Yes, we're very excited. I know you have several customers that we're going to bring on in the next couple of months, and we thought it'd be a great way to kind of kick off not only, you know, to secure XWare 430 as a time savings and, of course, our high performance um, versatile solution, but to get that feedback directly from you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are? Maybe everyone watching doesn't know you quite as well as Paul and I do. So, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for their luck, unfortunately. But uh, so I'm Dante Marin Petrie, everybody. I am a technical sales rep for Tremco. Uh, I've actually been with Tremco for about 10 years. Uh, I started Tremco as actually a lab technician uh, about 2011, 2012, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, I moved into a technical service, a field tech rep capacity, where I was the technical expert for our air barrier product line. But I work very heavily in uh, other systems as well, our coatings, our waterproofing. Uh, I was working with installers, uh, presenting to architects, uh, and then I was traveling all over North America, a couple international things, and my son was born. And I wanted to figure out a way in which I could be closer to the area where something were to happen. So I moved into uh, the building science lab manager. So I was fortunate enough to work with under Varsity and uh, with Corey and Alyssa, who are two phenomenal people that uh, unfortunately I'm not their boss anymore. Well, Corey's boss anymore. But uh, then I since moved into the sales capacity October 1st. Uh, and now I cover Western Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh State College and Western New York, Buffalo, Rochester, and head on to Syracuse as well from here in my home base. So I've had my hands in a lot of different things in uh, Tremco over the years, and I just appreciate the opportunity to be here. You wear many, you've, you've worn many hats and wear many hats today, so that's great. We're, we're happy to have you on, and I chose just some of the photos, just some of the photos of, of our interactions through the years. You are um, one of the, the co-hosts for our um, Building Science Breakdown, so if you guys don't know what those are, definitely check them out. All you gotta do is type in Building Science Breakdown, and you'll be able to find the few that we have out so far, but there's more coming, so. Um, Dante's going to continue to uh, be a part of those, even even in his new role. So we're happy happy that you're able to do that. Yeah, we've got some cool opportunities in that regard where we can film some things in the field as well. Where I think you know you talked about in July doing on the road show. I have a contractor that's doing about sixty thousand square feet of secure hot cakes order four thirty, which is supposed to kick off Monday on the project. So there'll be lots of orange board on the wall by January. We can come out and do that. 
Yeah, and I know um, another customer you were talking to was doing some Puma. So um, obviously last week, I don't know if you caught last week's show, we had a great applicator on from uh, down in Florida. He was able to come on and talk about his expertise. So we're excited to have um, some of your installers on there as well. We'll be excited yeah. to have them. Great. So Dante, um, we posted this on um, we posted this on LinkedIn. A couple people sent me some questions. So are you ready to take some questions? Yeah, so let's roll. You are one of the patent holders of the Secure X4430 system. So we have the expert online with us today. So first question up, Dante, talk to us about testing. Um, they wanted to know in more detail, you know, what kind of testing that we did um, for this system. So there's a bunch of different testing, right? And, you know, you could look at just the material performance of the system, which is what we have here. And I'll talk about some of the stuff that I did prior to moving into the sales world. Uh, but also we want to look at system performance as well and how we perform in that building envelope, not just the material, because that material does need to connect to other systems. Here's an example of one of the tests that we did uh, a while ago where the test method is called AATCC 127. It's looking at a hydrostatic head of the material. So we wanted to compare how ours or competitive materials perform if we had a hydrostatic head. And this is one of the standards required by the Air Bear Association of America to be listed. You can see the picture with the cylinders or tubes that are filled with water. Well, the way that this test works is you can't have any water penetrate the membrane. Well, when your membrane is pre-applied to a panel, it's hard to really tell if any moisture penetrated it. So what we did is we took the Secure Rock XMR 430 panel and the competitive material, we put a head of water on top of them, and we dyed the water with an ultraviolet indicating dye, and then cut that in half, cut the substrate in half after the test was done and shined a black light. And you can see the Secure Rock XMR 430 with the panel folded in half, there's no moisture infiltration, but with the competitive material, we have moisture getting past the membrane layer uh, into the gypsum core. So technically that would be a failure. And you have a host of issues that occur when you start getting moisture into gypsum. I don't think I need to share that with everybody, especially after freeze-thaw cycles. Well, that's, you know, some of the other pictures there, right? We're looking at freeze-thaw. When we looked at these systems, or when we looked at this material, Paul, we looked at it with our sealants, right? So we looked at it in conjunction with the components that are a part of it. So we look at that material level, but then we love to go and take it to the test facility and to mock-ups and look at it from a system perspective. So I think this next slide here, Dante, gives you the ability to talk even further about what we did from a performance perspective as we look at systems. Yeah, and, and as we're hitting on that high note here of system, right? It's how does it tie into the window system? How do different facade anchors and girts and um, hat channels and brick lentils, how do they work when we start poking holes in the air barrier system? So that's the whole point of not just looking at the materials performance, but looking at it as a system. Uh, and you can see we actually went as far as building a small building that I'm standing on down in the uh, uh, bottom of the picture how we looked at how we tied in the different windows that we have here, different doors connecting to a blow grade foundation, a roof system, so on and so forth, looking at that system. Uh, and a, a shout out to, unfortunately, uh, Peter Spafford, who's in the upper, uh, upper right-hand corner, uh, who is no longer with us anymore, he's since passed, but uh, he was a great gentleman that got to work with us in a bunch of our testing that we've done over the years. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to put that in there as a tribute to Peter Spafford. He he worked with us on, Paul, years ago, we did ABBA installer trainings. We did nine of them across the country. And Peter Peter was one of those guys that was a part of that. And it was it was just great working with him. Um, and if anybody's ever worked with the Air Barrier Association of America, you know Peter and his legacy that he left behind and behind so many people that he touched. Absolutely. So, Dante, I know... Early on, we got lots of questions about testing. We got, you know, a lot of testing questions about, you know, how do things look over time? And how do you know that you can say that it's okay for six months or 12 months? Can you just hit on that a little bit in terms of how we looked at exposure testing? Obviously we have that hut, um, but then, you know, that other other testing that we did in, in different um, UV farms and stuff like that. Yeah, so just to touch on the hut a little further, that hut we built and what we did was we left it outside and we actually measured the air leakage of that hut every month over a course of 
it was a little over a year and determined that the system still stayed air and water tight over that year for that building that we built. But fast forward to like two years ago, uh, one of the projects that we worked on at the test facility was where we took our um, Secure Act XR430, we built a wall system and we also took some competitive materials as well. And we built wall systems with those different types of technologies with permeable peeling sticks, with other pre-applied membrane systems, fluid applied technologies. We built them, we measured their air and water leakage at time zero, and then we put them outside over the course of a year. And then we brought them in uh, once a month or once a quarter to check their air and water leakage. And we looked at how things perform as a function of time and aging. And there was some, some surprising information that we found out from that. And I, I have that picture later on in, in the presentation, but so we'll definitely be able to talk, talk about that. And what's interesting, Paul, with that with that test, which you'll see, is it was just the material, as in, you know, we didn't even poke holes in it. Yeah. And some of these products struggled with just that. So, so that's very interesting when you start to think of that baseline. Now, I think the other the interesting thing, since that hut was built, um, it was in, uh, was it in Indiana? Yeah, just out of Chicago. So all of a sudden we get the alert that it's leaking air. So we're all like, oh no, what's going on? So Dante drives out there and do you want to tell him what, what was going on? Yeah, so you know, we get a uh, frantic call from our friends at USG because the test lab had reached out to USG and said, hey, horrible leakage going on. The numbers are way off. What's going on? This is horrible. What's you're freaking out, right? So for hop in my truck and I head out to Goshen, Indiana to try and do some uh, investigative work to figure out what's going on. So we're sitting there, we're having a meeting talking about all the data and everything and going through it. And then I'm like, oh, well, let's, let's go ahead out and look at the actual mock-up itself and figure out what's going on. Now that we have an idea as to, uh, you know, the performance deep drop off that we saw Well, we get out there, as you can see on the lower right-hand side of the uh, mock-up itself, there's a door. We actually took that door from an RV. It was a flange door set in the sealant. And that way we could go into the actual chamber and look at what was going on over time. Well, it turns out that door blew a gasket. So we could see. <laughs> it had so, nothing to do with our system at all. But that just so, tells the kind of pressurization we're dealing with too. So we see the hole and then we end up putting plastic poly, taping it all the way around it and everything was restored and we didn't have any more air leakage issues whatsoever so we got back to that performance level that we were sustainably hitting beforehand yeah i like i like you have one of my favorite buck pictures in this you probably put that in there for me right? i did the uh the one where we test all these different methods yeah of, uh, of all the different fast or all the different insulation pin or ways that Insulation, yeah, yeah. And, and the one that, to the left of him standing on his, his little oh, yeah. as well. That one I like, yeah, just because there are so many ways to do things, yeah, all quote considered correct, but the performance difference is dramatic. And I think the thing I'm always surprised by is that just the just the XOR 430 air barrier alone is incredibly high performance yeah. all by itself, yeah. I mean that conversation comes up regularly, Dante, and I know it's it's got to help you in your, your your new role to be able to provide that type of confidence based on this past testing. So um, it's it's definitely incredible. And what's great is these conversations are being had. So years ago, Dante and I would talk about this, you know, different types of anchors, and we really want to make sure the customers understood how important understanding the different threaded fasteners can do and what how that can affect performance. Now everyone's talking about it too. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're finally there. It used to be us talking about it all the time and now other people are as well. So that's great. What I love about our test wall is it's just opinions until you put it up on yeah. the test wall. It's definitely helped us instead of being theoretical, demonstrate it and show it. Um, here's another a question that came in, um, Dante, that people wanted you to comment on. So what quality control measures have been implemented for the installer? Yeah, so the cool part about this is it is a uniform factory film thickness on the actual panel itself. It gets made, the panel gets made at USG and they laminate the coating on there right away. Uh, and so we know that it's gonna be consistently that 20 mils across the board. Uh, also, you know, we have the membrane on the panel, but we've got to tie panel to panel. Uh, one of the things that Corey, who does the training now for Secure Act Export 430 and myself, we do is we talk about the importance of making sure that we have consistent 
mill thickness of our material at the joint. So we've gone ahead and created some different tools and worked with the installer to ensure that they know what to look for and how the system performs and making sure that we have the appropriate thickness of the uh, Dimonico cutter at the board joints by utilizing our one of the specialized tools that we make. On, and the green sealant helps because you know you're using the, the right sealant Dimonico 100. See purple, that means you're using spec one, which is also acceptable. Um, another question we had come in was, how is the project team trained? So there's another shout out to Corey Bendokis. Yeah, so this is Corey. He's one of a great, great asset that we have here at Trunco, who is the uh, Air Barrier Technical Service representative. Uh, he came with me to uh, help train one of our contractors that's doing that large job outside of Pittsburgh uh, over the summer here in the fluorescent yellow shirt right in the front is the contractor, Harry. Uh, he's actually on vacation right now uh, in his condo down on the beach. So that's why he can't be with us. But Corey was there. We walked through the installation. We talked about some different project configurations and we figured out how to make sure these guys were well equipped with the knowledge to have a successful installation in the field. And in addition to the training, they have me as their rep who has a pretty good understanding of how the system comes together. So looking forward to working with these guys and having you guys come down on the project for Trumco Live in July. Yes, absolutely. We can't we can't wait to have that. Now, I, I included we have lots of different pictures of training. So this is part of um, what we do for the contractors. So we make sure that they're installed, and you know anyone involved in the project team is welcome to attend. Generally, we don't we don't you know put that up on the back of the garage door, but we'll make it work wherever we can. Um, and I love to tease Dante because he he did so many of these trainings, um, you know, when he was a, a tech rep, and now he's able to do them in, in this capacity. And when he needs a little extra help, obviously he's got Corey there. Yeah, and I think this again, you know, we say this so often in Trump Go Live, but it's our beating the, beating the street, our tech presence to be out on the job site with you to not only do the training, but also on job startup and at any time to um, help support your team um, in, in uh, understanding and, and doing a great install. Yeah, and having those feet on the street, I know, Dante, you, you, uh, you know, are, you did I auditor. Um, um, I audits when you were out on projects, and now that's probably a key part of your role now as a, as a technical rep being out there in the field and really giving that extra um, help out on those job sites with that with those I auditors. Yeah. The other thing too, Marcy, that you know contractors have always bid what I call a production rate, and that's the other benefit of having us be on the job with you at startup is to help you ensure that you're going to meet the production rate you bid and ideally beat it, so yeah. that it's going to be a great project for you. Absolutely. Um, I think we've got one more here. This uh, is um, another one more question that came in is, you know, is this Securic XR430 system, is it versatile? Yeah, so it's super versatile. And here in this case, you can actually see how we're, this is the project mock-up for the one that we the project that we keep referencing uh, outside of Pittsburgh, where we actually have a curved radius around the building where we have the 430 panel bending around that radius. It's super versatile because we have a whole bunch of different NFPA 285 tests where we have thousands of different permutations with different insulations, different claddings, framing, so on and so forth. Uh, we also have uh, the ability to use the Secure Act Excel 430 underneath our drive and each system. So not just brick and metal panel or different siding types, uh, wood grain finishes. We can actually do it under an EVE system as well, our drive-in system. We have the opportunity to provide that complete building envelope warranty by having the panel all the way from the studs out to the cladding and the facade. So, you know, as we look at all these different, you know, transition areas, all these different types of facades, you know, is there any like final message that you'd want to give somebody to give them confidence in the system? I'll just share the story of this project in particular. We were working on it with, with Harry, who is the contractor, uh, with our XOR 110AT, and they were going to use Secure Rock glass mat sheathing, and they liked the idea of a primerless peel and stick. But they ended up saying, you know, we need to get this, we need to get the drywall and the air barrier on by, I don't remember the exact point in time right now. And they were concerned about some of the weather delays that happened in Pittsburgh and Cleveland and the Midwest at this time of year. But we have a really rainy spring. You can't get bored. You can't get. Um, air barrier up on the wall. So that's why they switched to this. So it's a huge time saver. And that's what, what is helping keep this project on schedule because uh, we were kind of behind the eight ball before we even got started on it. So 
I'd be more than happy to discuss further if anybody has any questions or concerns, but please reach out to your local uh, Tremco rep and we can help you further. Well, it'll be great because, um, you know, obviously this is a new installer. They just got trained. It'll be great to check in with them throughout the project. And then afterwards to hear, you know, will he want to do, does he want to do it again? Right. And that's always what we want to, we want to know, you know, how was their experience and is this something that they want to continue to use? Yeah, we, I, I ask that question every time that I always get a great answer back. So I keep asking it, but once, once they, they get experience with their first install, it's, uh, it's compelling. Yeah, it's interesting. This this can be that hero. A lot of times our, our technology is a hero on the project to get you back up on to schedule if you're behind or obviously to, to save a lot of time. But then in the end, they, they want to keep on using it. So it's a great, great situation to be in. And versatile, I think today, Dante, you, me and Corey, we're talking about um, a reclad job. So um, Corey and I are going to check that one out. It's it's somewhat local to here. So we'll be able to see how they're going to remove cladding and they're going to utilize this system to marry up and they're not even removing the windows. So no occupant displacement. They're keeping the windows in place. They've had some cladding issues. They're going to remove it, be able to slide this system in place. So well, that, that, I think that's worth a whole Trimco live I show. I think so, Corey. So we'll, we'll definitely capture that. But just it just lends back to that versatility. So Dante, um, thank you for being able to join us today. Really appreciate it. We look forward to catching up more with you and your customer. Yeah, thanks, guys. Good seeing you, Paul and Marcy. Thank you, Dante. Thanks, Dante. Well, that was a real treat to have Dante on. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, I I, I love that the ability to be able to um, talk to somebody who had has had a variety of different um, roles at Tremco and then be able to kind of give us their experience in, in all areas. So I think that's what really helps with Dante is, you know, obviously he had that experience working with tech service. He was that building science lab manager. So he was able to do a lot of testing and then now he's able to take that experience out into the field. Yeah, my guess is we're going to get a lot of feedback from Dante in the years to come about uh, opportunities to do things even better. I think we will. So there, Dante, you heard it right from Paul. We're looking forward to hearing your feedback. So uh, once again, everybody, thank you for joining us. Um, looking at next week, Paul, we're going to continue to look at time-saving technologies. Can you tell us what? We are going to, we're going to take a deeper dive into insulated concrete forms. Okay. We right. have a guest coming on and he is going to explain obviously the time savings of this great technology, but we're gonna go in and explain further thermal mass. I don't think we can talk about thermal mass enough. We had Nick Brown on um, a few weeks ago um, with BuildSmart, um, energy consultant. We've got another guy coming in. He's gonna tell us um, how he likes to explain thermal mass. Yeah, I think we're only at the beginning of actually educating the whole industry yeah. about the benefits of thermal mass and the difference between thermal mass and our value. Yes. Oh, so okay. well, that's very exciting. Yeah, so a shout out to Bill Cardo, um, one of our colleagues who was able to connect us with uh, with an industry colleague that we will have on next week. Fantastic. So, okay, thanks everybody for joining us. Have a good rest of your day and a great weekend. See you next week. Be safe. Thanks.